So let's get started. This is our first interesting script. Here you can see the regular first three lines that we were used to already, and then um, we declare a variable my dollar name and assign or name to it foo. Then we would like to print it out. So we say print a string hello, then a comma, separating the various parts of the parameters of the hello function, then the, the variable itself, and another comma, and some more string. So this will print hello foo, how are you? Which is very nice. But in Perl you can do better. You can actually write it this way. You can take the variable and put it inside a string. It's called interpolation. You can embed the variable, the scalar variable, into the string. And Perl will understand that instead of printing dollar name, it has to print the content of dollar name. People coming from Shell and from some other languages are familiar with this, but for other people it may be strange. Now, which one is more readable? I think it's way more readable this way. Obviously, if you are, for you it's strange uh, that a variable is embedded, then at first you'll think that this is a more readable, but how many commas are there, how many quotation marks, a lot worse than this one. So you just have to get used to it that you can embed variables. Actually that's part of the reason that there are the sigils, the dollar sign, at the beginning of the variables. Of course, not everybody is called foo, so let's see another example. Let's see an example where we ask the user what, he, what his name is, and then get the get a input from the user print it out again. So we first print out enter your name please and here you can see I don't put a new line because usually when you prompt for something you expect the people to type in the same line. That's just a nice thing to have. And then we use the lower uh, the less than stdin greater than signs. This is the basically the read line function of Perl reading from the standard input which is usually the keyboard. So this construct will read from the keyboard until you press enter and everything you typed, including the enter, will, placed, will be placed in this variable called $name that we have just declared. Then we use the same function, the same print that we did earlier, hello, the name of uh, the user, and then how are you. If you run this, like this, prol and the name of the file, you saved it, you will see enter your name please, then you can type foo because that's your name after all, and then it will be hello foo, and on the new line it will be co print comma and how are you. So where is that new line came from, you might ask, and after a little bit of thinking you will notice that, yeah, we actually type in the foo, the name, and pressed enter. So that enter is a new line that went into the dollar name. So dollar name contains everything, including the new line. Well, probably in most cases you don't really want that new line. So for that, Perl has a special function for getting rid of that new line, and that function is called chomp. So now we change the same script. We have the prompt. We are reading from the command line, from the standard input, sorry, from the keyboard, and then we call chomp on the dollar name. This function will remove any trailing new line from the original name. Just pay attention, Chom doesn't return something interesting, what it does, it changes dollar name. Now if you print it, you will see that this uh, whole thing is in one line. 